Hello there and welcome to Key Stage 3 Science. So we're looking at expanding here. So let's have a look at these one by one. So if a metal bar is heated up, it expands. In other words, it gets bigger slightly. This happens because the metal particles, they gain more energy and they start vibrating. So here we can see from this image, um, the particles vibrate more and so they move apart, which means that they actually expand. So this is just a, an example of a metal on the left hand side. The circles are examples of particles. And when, when they actually heat up in very warm weather, the particles vibrate and they expand and you can see those circles kind of expanding and there's a little bit more space between them uh, in comparison to the original circle here. So most materials expand slightly when they are heated. Problems that are caused by expansion. So this is an example of a bridge. So in hot weather, a bridge could expand and it could buckle. So that means when the bridge are actually uh, made or when they're actually placed where they're supposed to be by engineers, certain gaps are left on the sides for the bridge to expand. Because if it heats up and expands, it will buckle, which means there's a good chance that the bridge will get damaged. So in this case, the rollers at the bottom help the bridge to expand. And there are some gaps here that the engineers leave at the end of the bridge um, so that there's room for the bridge to actually expand. Overhead wires shorten in cold weather and could potentially snap. That's a problem that's also caused by expansion and extraction. So slack is left in the wires. So if I just blow this up a little bit for you, slack, which means that there are small gaps there, are left within the wires. So if it is cold and if the wires actually do um, condense in size or they get smaller or shorter, then there is actually room that the wires will not snap, okay? So these are some of the problems caused by uh, expansion and shrinkage. So what are the uses of expansion? So as the mercury warms up, that means the temperature, it expands and moves up the thermometer scale. So this is mercury in this thermometer, and this actually, as it warms up, the mercury warms up and expands. So in other words, it increases up, and this gives us the correct temperature. So rivets hold metal plates tightly together. So these are the rivets here. Very hot rivet is hammered flat. It cools down and contracts to pull tightly. So these are some of the things that the engineers have to take into account, uh, especially with metals. Remember, we're talking about just metals here more than anything else. Good luck with the rest of the questions for revision. We'll follow these up in our next lesson.